Leader of the SNP, Stephen Flynn. As I said, I really do want to try and help the Prime Minister. If you don't, I do. Stephen Flynn. Mr Speaker, Mr. Speaker I'm, I'm delighted to hear that they had an equally I'm delighted to hear that they had an equally peaceful and relaxing Easter break as I did. <laughs> Mr. Pr- Prime Minister, Prime Minister. Was it their refusal to stand alongside striking workers on the picket line, their acceptance of the economic damage being caused by Brexit, or perhaps their support for denying the people of Scotland the right to choose their own future, which led to the leader of the Scottish Conservative Party urging voters to back Labour? Ah. Well, Mr. Mr Speaker, uh, it, it, what we're doing is not getting distracted by the things that are going on elsewhere, and we're focused on delivering for the people of Scotland. Uh, we're making sure that we fund public services as well with one and a half billion extra pounds in Barnet Consequentials. We're making sure that we provide support with the cost of living. Now, I know, Mr. Speaker, at the moment, him and his party are focused on other matters. We're just going to motor on with the job. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, let me be clear. We will take no lectures, no lectures from a party which has not had a mandate to govern in Scotland since 1955. He went to three prime ministers in the course of just a matter of months who crushed the economy, who sent mortgage rates soaring, who have taken energy support away from families most in need. We have a prime minister who has been fined by the polis not once but twice, who take donations from Russian-backed donors and who, of course, have stuffed the House of Lords with people like Baroness Moan. But, Mr Speaker, let's be clear. What we're talking about is the fact that the leader of the Scottish Conservatives believes that the people of Scotland should return Labour Party members of Parliament to this House rather than Scottish National Party members to this House. So isn't the message for the people of Scotland quite clear? Don't give the Tories what they want. Yeah. Mr Speaker, actually, the, 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 the Scottish Conservatives deserve enormous praise yeah. for, for, forcing, for, forcing, actually, for forcing the SNP into abandoning their completely unworkable, fundamentally flawed deposit return scheme, Mr yeah. Speaker. So it's good that the uh, SNP U turned and listened to the voices of the Scottish Conservatives and to business, and we look forward to working with them on delivering something that actually works to deliver for the people of Scotland. And that's just it, Mr Speaker, because if they can't fix the mess that Nicola Sturgeon left their party in, how can they possibly fix the mess that she left Scotland in? Yeah.